Hey there everyone, welcome again to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how we can delete and update the data from Excel to the SQL Server. But before moving further, if you haven't watched my previous video, then I would highly recommend it to watch it first. In our last session, we migrated the sum data from our Excel to the SQL Server. Now there could be some scenario where we need to update some data or maybe where we need to delete some data. So let me show you our Excel data. So if you remember in our last session we migrated this data. So now I have already prepared another sheet where there could be scenario we need to update some data on the behalf of some ID. Now let's suppose if you see earlier it was the name Virat Kohli on the ID part. Now we need to update this data. For ID1, we need to set this name. So how would we do that? So in this session we will learn how we will update our data. So let's go to the Visual Studio and let's create another package. Let me rename it. Yes to all. Now to update the data, firstly we need to drag and drop a one data flow task on, on the control flow. And let's rename task. Let me open this data flow and let's again drag and drop our source in the destination. So our source would be Excel. And now our destination would be in earlier video, our destination was sequence of our destination. But now in this case, our destination would be different. Now our destination would be, it would be PolyDB command. So let's try and drop it here. Let me open this source. By the quality take that connection. And you know, this is it, I think. This give me an error. Oh, my message is open, so let me close it. So, okay, let's change. So, yeah, update sheet is here. Go to again columns and click OK. And to preview the data, it is showing that three rows. Click OK. Now, you need to click on that blue arrow and put it here. And double click on this one. Here you need to leave the connection manager. Now click on this drop down. It is showing two connections. So now we have a connection with the SQL server. So I'm selecting this connection. Now go to the component property. You need it is showing the name of PolyDB command by default. And in the SQL command, we can write over the command. So what would be our command to update the data? So before updating it, let me show you my SQL Server. So if you remember, this was our data, which we migrated in our last session. And one modification I have done it. We have made this field in as the primary key of this table. So now let's go to the Visual Studio and give the command. Now to give the command, what we can give is date. Users table set name is equal to what is question mark here id is equal to question mark. So question mark means we are setting its dynamic value. If you know how to use the SQL command, then it is easy for you. So we are putting here a dynamic value. So that's why we are putting question mark sign. Now let's click OK. Now go to the column mapping. Now once you created a dynamic value, it automatically created two parameters for you, param0 and param1. So param0 represent first question mark and param1 represent second question mark. So in it we are putting the dynamic value. So we need to map it here. So our input column would be name, would be mapped with this one and our id would be mapped with this one. Now click OK. 
corners and it's going to go the package. Yeah, we successfully completed three rows. Now stop the debugging. Go to the video store and run out the command again. If you see all, all the data has been updated. Now there could be some scenario where we need to delete the data. Now how would we do that? So let me show you my Excel data again. So I have again created a one new sheet. So in this sheet, we need to delete this data. So there could be a, always one primary key where we, we can identify all the data. So which data we can delete. So again, let's close this Excel data. Go to the Visual Studio. Now open that ODDB command. Go to again component property. Open the SQL command. Now here you need to write the SQL query. So your SQL query now would be delete users. So if you just write this command, it will delete all the data in all the table. And but if you want to delete some specific data, then you need to write where close. Where ID is equal to again question mark. Click OK. Now go to columns mapping and the param 0 would be mapped with id so click ok open the excel source and click on this drop down and select this sheet now click ok and let's execute of the package so before executing the package let me show you all the data so this was of the updated data as we did earlier so again let's execute on the package so if you see two row is executed successfully now go to the sql server and execute this query again now you see these two data have been deleted hope you guys like this video please share it and like it and also don't forget to subscribe our channel